evening, uh, YouTubers. Uh, like my little tamper here. Give me a second. Uh, Dunhill, uh, Cuddy, HTC with uh, Larry's Blend. Larry Flanders. I hate that. <laughs> You try and talk, and you got the got the pipe in your mouth at the same time, and and you just blow ashes all over. One second. Hmm. How about that? Larry's Blend is a nice, uh, very nice English from uh, Hearth and Home, which is put out by Pipes and Cigars, or sold by Pipes and Cigars. It's actually an English made without burley. Uh, I like it. It's quite good. And um, this is a video response to the pipe, the pipe is Right regarding imposition of beliefs. And since David mentioned me by name, uh, you had to know I was going to uh, make a, a response. I mean, you know, you can't, you can't mention my name without me saying something. <laughs> Now, I tried to make this video three times, and it didn't come out right. And so I decided to uh, write down my thoughts <laughs> uh, because uh, I was just not getting out what I wanted to say. Uh, I kept messing up. So if you'll forgive me, and I'm going to be going back and forth, okay? So, uh, David, you did an excellent job of speaking what I wanted to say, but was not quite elegant enough to, uh, when I made the original video, put the question to Wandering Recluse. Um, I'm not a very good public speaker, and I'm not well suited to getting my point across in a discussion. Uh, not to mention that Ah, sorry, stiff neck. Mm. Oh. Not to mention that, uh, well, YouTube is not properly a discussion anyway. It's one person talking for a little bit, and if somebody wants to respond, it's them talking back. So properly speaking, it's not really a discussion. But uh, you're right, David. Uh, it is uh, given to us uh, Christians the Great Commission to spread the gospel, the word of Jesus, but Jesus uh, to unbelievers. But Jesus Himself told us not to try and force ourselves upon others. Uh, you know, I agree with you, on, uh, Sean, uh, wandering recluse, uh, uh, about that. We are not supposed to, even you know, even. Jesus told us not to force ourselves upon others. Uh, you know, if we if we go to a town to spread the gospel and they don't accept us, then we are to shake the dust off our feet of the town off our feet and move on. Uh, we're not to uh, to uh, you know stick around the town and browbeat people and try to force them to see things the way we do. Uh, that's simply not what Jesus taught. That's you know. Uh, uh, the people that you see picketing abortion clinics or uh, picketing gay pride parades and shouting hate and obscenity, these are not, you know, these people are simply not good examples of, 
of Christians. They're not good examples of living the life that Jesus told us to live. Um, it is very sad when a person, see an uh, atheist, sees that and thinks this is why we have to stop Christians. Uh, they're no more a, a proper example of Christians than, say, the, uh, you know, the militant atheists that protest the reading of Bible verses at military funerals. And um, I, I want you to forgive me for a moment that it, as a veteran, that is a particular hot, to hot topic of my hot button topic. Uh, did you know? Uh, this is slightly off base, but at the same time on base. Just give me a little leeway to make my point that when y you join the military, you fill out a tremendous amount of paperwork. Uh, every single soldier has to answer a question that's on the paperwork of what their belief is. Uh, you know, Catholic, Protestant, Baptist, Methodist, Lutheran, Jewish, Muslim, or atheist. What you believe or don't believe, you write it down. It's in your military records. They know. They have a record of it. And if you should have the misfortune of dying in the military, uh, in the course of you know military action, uh, uh, and you get a military funeral, even though all military funerals are somewhat uh, uniformed and somewhat the same, uh, you are still buried according to uh, your denomination, your belief or lack of belief. Uh, Catholic, you get a more or less Catholic funeral. Uh, uh, Baptist, same way. Jewish, Muslim, you'll get a, a Muslim you know, funeral. Uh, if you're Jewish, you'll get a Jewish funeral. And if you're an atheist, you'll get a secular, a secular funeral. So, why? Why on earth does any atheist feel they have the right to stick their nose into somebody's personal business when they when they specifically told the military how they wanted you know what they believed what they want how they wanted to be buried it's nobody's business except the person that died so I don't see how any atheist you know feels justified in uh, you know protesting you know that and um, and again that's like you know uh, uh, wandering recluse said, Sean, you know, we all need to communicate, and David made this point, we shouldn't be trying to force each other to, uh, you know, browbeat the other to believe the that person, other person's point of view, you know, talk, communicate, discuss, and if you can convince the other person, fine, and if you can't com communicate, convince the other person, also fine. Uh, Jesus, and asked about what is the greatest commandment at all said Lord Lord the God Lord your you know, the God thy father and you know when asked second and greatest is love thy neighbor he didn't say love your neighbor as long as he believes the same thing you do he, he, you know didn't say love thy neighbor as long as he's a Christian he said love thy neighbor doesn't matter if that neighbor's an atheist or a Muslim and you're a Christian he says love thy neighbor Okay, you know, you, you don't spout he hate speech. You don't browbeat them with the Bible. Okay, um, you know, sure, you witness to them. You 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 try and, and and teach the word of Jesus. And if they don't want to listen, if the, you know, that's their business. That you know, you, you you don't browbeat them. Okay, you you know, uh, be friends with them, uh, be cordial. You know, uh, you know, but. Don't harp on them, okay? And I, and I believe you know we'd all get along better if atheists did the same thing. Um, so there you have it. <laughs> um, uh, thank you, David, for putting out this video. I think it was very well said. You did a good job of making making the points that needed to be made. Uh, so, pardon me. Until next time, may all your roads be smooth. Chicken house is closed, and may your pipe never run empty. God bless.